One of the powerful things with deep learning and computer vision is that you don't need to specify features. Deep learning will learn those features from the pixels. And there are different packages for doing this. We are going to be covering MTCNNs, uh, Multitask Convolutional Neural Networks, and also MediaPipe, a pipeline to enable pose uh, detection for, for humans. And those are trained off of uh, deep learned neural networks. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, deep learning and give an introduction to it with computer vision and how it relates to these pixels. Uh, what we're going to do is just go into an example here. This one is a uh, convolutional neural network. And if I draw a number here, like the number three, then you can see the different layers and the pooling that takes place, another convolutional uh, layer, and then it comes up a uh, dense layer, another flattened dense layer, and then finally uh, the number three that's predicted there. And you can see the different weights and how those are related. So this one is already a trained network, and the examples that we're gonna show are also trained networks as well. So what I'm gonna do is just go through some of this code with you, develop it, and then share with you what um, you know the convolutional neural network can do. This one, the MTCNN, is not quite as fast as the media pipe. It is uh, also not as fast as uh, as using the cascade classifier. So we had another video that explained that in a little bit more detail about how cascade classifiers work. But we're just gonna do face detection with MTCNN, Multitask Convolutional Neural Networks, and we'll import matplotlib and import from this package, MTCNN, we'll import this pre-trained model. And then URL lib request will download an image uh, this is an image that's just of a, uh, a student's walking. And here is the image. We'll download that and then do face detection on this. Now, our minds are you know, drawn to recognize faces. Uh, we can recognize expressions. Uh, you know, everybody here looks fairly happy. We can... Uh, it, it, just from the shape of the face, you know, even from long distances away, we're trained to be able to recognize faces. So we want to train uh, computer vision to do something similar. So uh, let's go ahead and download this with URL lib request. And after we've downloaded that, let's create a new function that's going to separate out the faces. We're going to go through each of the results and then pick out the starting point and then the width and the height to create this box. And let's say there's x2 and y2. And then we're gonna create a subplot and show the image. Now we're gonna read this image, I am read, reads it with matplotlib. And then we're going to create the MTCNN uh, detector and then detect the faces from the pixels that we read in. And then we'll draw the faces. So this is the complete example. Just go ahead and run this and uh, you should see it process. You can see it takes just a little bit of time to import everything and uh, there you can see the faces that were identified from the photo. So let me just bring open that uh, photo again and let's see how well it did at detecting these faces. So you can see some of them, I see the first one right here. I see uh, another one right here. Here's another one. Uh, it even got the one that's uh, sideways. Okay, so did a good job with that one. You can see her right here. And uh, there's another one. And let's see, which one is uh, this one? It would be him right here and then her. So it did a very good job detecting uh, the faces. We have eight faces and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now it did not get this individual right here. Okay, so um, so it's not perfect. Uh, we're able to just infer even from a part of a face that there's the complete face there, but this package needs uh, the complete face there in the image. So there are other methods for detecting faces as well. 
Um, and we're going to cover that as well, like media pipe. Uh, but, but first, um, we can also see what the uh, detection confidence is as well. So I'm just going to go for the faces that I detected. And I'm going to print out the confidence for each of those. So you can see the uh, eight faces. And you can see it's 99.9 uh, .9 or higher percent uh, accuracy for or confidence in each of those. And then uh, we can also just look at the uh, DIR. OK, so if I just wanted to say, um, you know, let's just do faces uh, zero. OK, I can see some of the um, other things that I can pick out from the face that I identified. It shows me the bounding box. OK, the starting point and the width and height, the confidence, the key points. So for example, the left eye, the right eye, the nose, the mouth left and mouth right. So for each of them, it's just picking out those, those particular key marks uh, for the face. Now there's something, another package uh, that's come out more recently, MediaPipe, and this is uh, from Google. And this one's nice because it, it also builds uh, the, the whole mesh for the face, not just those points, but additional points as well. So I'm going to get uh, media pipe, and we're going to do this with video. This one's going to be fast enough that we can detect from video the um, uh, do the face detection. Okay, so I'm going to dr import drawing utilities, drawing styles, face mesh, and then we're going to do drawing uh, spec. We're going to get some uh, specs for the thickness and circle radius. Okay, so that's just for drawing over the top of it, and then we're going to uh, have video capture. If you have another webcam, you can change that to the zero, one, two, depending on you know which ones you have. You can select that. Okay, and then we're going to create a uh, with MP underscore face mesh. Uh, we are going to uh, get the face mesh um, with some options here. So we have max number of faces is one. If you have more people in the image, just change that to higher number okay refined landmarks is true min detection confidence 0.5 so it's not going to detect it if it's beyond that uh, confidence range and then min tracking confidence 0.5 okay and then we're going to do that as face mesh and then we're going to open um, the video capture and we're going to read uh, from the the web camera and if not successful, then we're going to ignore the empty camera frame and uh, use a break instead of continue if you're loading a video. Okay, so um, to improve performance, you know, you can mark the image as not writable to pass by reference. So I'm going to say writable equals false. And then um, I'm going to do uh, the convert color. I'm going to convert the image from BGR which is the default in, um, in OpenCV, and it's going to convert it to RGB, which is the default with uh, Python image library and matplotlib. Um, and then I'm going to process the image. Okay, it needed it in RGB mode here, so I just convert it to RGB. Um, and then I'm going to draw the face mesh annotations on the image. So now I'm going to say that writable equals true. I'm going to convert this from RGB back to BGR. Okay, so uh, I just needed that to do the processing of the image. And then we're going to take all of the landmarks from the results. And what we're going to do here is just basically draw onto the image. Okay, we're going to draw the landmarks. In this case, this first one is going to be face mesh tessellation. The second one is going to be face mesh contours. And then the third one is face mesh irises. All right, and then we want to just flip the image horizontally for a selfie view mode. And uh, let's go ahead and just show that with OpenCV. And then we'll have this weight key. We need that for videos. It needs to be one or higher. That's the number of milliseconds that we wait um, for a keystroke. In this case, we'll quit with the uh, letter Q on the keyboard. 
Okay, and then we need to release the video capture and then destroy all the windows that it creates. So um, I'm going to go ahead and just run this one and it should turn on the webcam and then um, we'll be able to okay see the uh the face mesh that it detected and you can see that um you know this is a little bit more than media than the uh, mt cnn uh you can see it's detecting the entire face mesh and it's doing it in real time as well so even if i as i look up and around and uh, to the side uh, it's doing a very good job of detecting my face Okay, so that's just a brief tutorial on uh, deep learning. And you'll notice that um, you know, we didn't train any neural networks here. This was all pre-trained neural networks. And so there are other case studies here as well if you'd like to train your own. Just look for the uh, case studies here that have the eye on them. So those are the computer vision ones. Here is bit classification and then also concrete crack classification. And uh, then there's some others here as well. You can go into facial recognition. Okay, similar to this one, uh, we have hand tracking, and this is also with media pipe. Okay, and then there's also road detection. And this is more of a computer vision processing uh, to be able to enable detection of the road for things like you know self-driving cars um, and so we're splitting out we're doing some image processing with this to detect uh, something like a road we also have soil classification this one also uses a convolutional neural network to detect soil types from images but you can substitute any images in here and it will flow from the directory and be able to train those you know, with the, uh, the neural network. Okay, so those are just a few of them. Also texture classification. This is just a local binary pattern that uh, we're using to, to train, okay, to be able to look for sand, seed, or stone. So additional ones, if you want to train those, this one uh, is the deep learning, and this is just using uh, some of the pre-trained models for face detection. I hope you've enjoyed uh, this tutorial. Look forward to working with you on additional exercises here in the Machine Learning for Engineers course.